Hello YouTube, I hope everybody is doing absolutely marvelous. In our latest video, we were talking about uh, Empowered Smite and how it works. In today's video, I would like to keep talking about Smite even more, but instead of Empowered Psionics, we're going to take Warp Charges. It's going to buff the Smite, we're going to increase the damage a little bit, and uh, the build is going to differ a little bit as well but so let's take a look uh, let's take a look at the talents i chose this as my first idea however the the secondary damage that we're getting from this from this build comes from the applying stacks of soul blaze so the the shriek applies soul blaze then we have the wildfire that spreads the soul blaze when a target with soul blaze dies and then we have perilous combustion where whenever we kill elite or a specialist, the, everything around it uh, explodes in Soul Blaze as well. However, I don't think it works. At least I didn't see it proc that many times uh, for it to be useful. So I had another idea to have more sustainability with replenishment, as we are going to be using toughness and void strike and everything around. Then we can get uh, more toughness and also movement speed, which is very important for uh, for movability around the, around the battlefield. And lastly, we can help our teammates to uh, decrease ability cooldown for you and allies in coherency by 5% on elite kill or specialist kill. So. Instead of focusing on a main and secondary damage from this build, we can focus on a little bit of a team play and uh, survivability on toughness, uh, toughness replenishment and some movement speed from that as well. I don't know if metal is going to work. I haven't tried it yet, but we're going to figure it out now. So this is the build. We're using warp, uh, warp sign, which are going to give us uh, warp charges. Uh, we're going to lose uh, 6 by 3 36. 36 uh, peril generation reduction, which is good with smite, so the smite can last longer. It's not going to be infinite, but with the infinite smite, the problem is uh, movability. You're very slow, and dodges are not a very good thing to, to move around the, the battlefield. Then again, increased damage, which is going to be stacking with Warp Rider. Uh, of course, whenever an ally or I uh, in coherence kill something, we have a chance to get four. Uh, four. We, we have four percent chance to get one warp charge, which is tremendous during a uh, during a wave. And lastly, we can store six warp charges. Is there a damage difference from Empowered Smite, which gives us thirty percent uh, immediate damage boost? compared to where is it there, there you go four percent is that a difference in numbers yes it's two points of damage per tick two <laughs> don't expect like like 15 or 20 that's it like two points of damage with warp charges so warp charges is a little bit better you can see the difference during a horde but again we are not having empowered smite so it's not going to spread that fast but uh, it's still very effective as a loadout again we're, we're using elise blades uh, blaze four sword and a void strike again which is absolutely disgusting if you have transfer peril which quells eight percent of peril for a weak spot hit during a wave you delete everything and you're at zero and, and you are at zero peril when you have a boss fight, you're still using your Warp Rider, so you're getting your damage buffed tremendously. All right, we're going to test this on normal damnation. Let's jump in and let's go. I aim to be absolute menace for a distance. And when they get close, we're going to stun everything that we can while still be able to cause quite severe damage to anything around. Another important thing that people should take into consideration is that if you have a staff with a very high quell speed, never quell with a four sword that has lower quell speed or even with your hands. Never do that. Why? Let's take a look, right? So let's get, let's get a hundred and quell with, with our hands. 
that's okay. But let's try the same with our stuff. There is a half a second. I don't want to say a second, but there is a significant time difference. Now in the middle of nowhere, it's like, I'm out there. It's not a big deal to be honest yes but when you have a horde around you and you're at 80 percent peril that switch and quell with the staff can can be game changing and it can save your game i died to bleed all right oh there you go Shum Oh, no, you don't. Like, because we have four stacks. Currently, we have four stacks of, uh, of warp charges. We are ensured that the warp, uh, warp... The peril generation is slower as well. So we can... Oh, that was close. Uh, we can maintain smite longer. And it deals a little bit more damage. Again, right now, our smite is worse than empowered smite, but we're not here to deal damage with smite only. Right? We are here to be, like, jack of all trades that's master of everything, basically. That's what we're trying to do. Oh, 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 oh. Like, the, the warp generation from... Oh, did he just slide to the side? I think he did. The warp generation from everything. Like, we generate perils, we get toughness. We quell perils, we get toughness. We kill something, we get toughness. Like, the sustain of all of this is there. I wonder how the crit is going to work with, one, the movement speed, and second, how is... Like, can it crit actually and charge voice strike? It's, uh... That's my question. Did you try a sell yet? Not yet. I'm not a big fan of it because it's uh it's hell homing. <laughs> I think another important part why Smite is so good and important and great and brilliant is you're basically a walking search staff which is like a small version of a search staff so you see a bomber you see a, a net dude i don't know a trapper sorry you see a, a mutant just lob down the smite and then stagger them for long enough to actually be able to kill them on your own or uh your team deals with them Am I mi- I'm hitting, okay. Oh, there he is. Ow. Alright, six charges, they're too close, they just go smite. My GP is crying. Everyone's GP is currently crying. I switch to staff, call with staff. There you go. Rinse and repeat. And we're still maintaining six warp charges. That's just that's marvelous. There's a dog stuck in that as well. Beautiful. See, and now, because there are like six smallers and whatnot, because I have Warp charges that increase my damage by 36%. I can be useful even up close with my voice strike against bulwarks and maulers and everything. Which on Auric will definitely matter. Oh my god, there's a sniper! There was the sniper. I 
See, like, I, I, can be st I can still be very useful dealing a lot of damage. Even if I have a front line, so I don't need to use Smite as my primary damage. And uh, because we do have Quell 8% of peril on a weak spot hit. We had like 23% back to 8. We had 14. My god, this is nasty. Just keep sending those. I heard a mutant behind. There you go. 25. Now we're starting to rise with that. Back to 10. The whole wave. I didn't. I. I didn't need to quell during the whole wave. I'm. I'm telling you. I'm telling everyone. YouTube, get your. Uh, reduce the peril by eight percent. Whatever for a weak spot. It doesn't. It's not even a crit. It's a weak spot hit. It's insane. What you can do with the voice strike. I'm returning. See, if I return to the previous video, then uh, with the supreme uh, Palpatine supreme. People say that your GPU is crying when you use Smite and so on. Well, that's true. That is fair. However, with this build, you will be using Smite about 20% of the round. Because the Void Strike is going to be your main form of damage. We're not taking Smite as our primary source. So it's going to be a thousand times easier for everyone. And, uh, but it will still be useful at any range of the engagement. Which what matters? Does Demon Host have an armor type? I don't know. It definitely does, but I don't know which. It's a boss, so maybe unyielding? I think it has unyielding. Oh, I was aiming somewhere else. You might want to help fast, faster, faster! I think this is one of the best uh, examples of the engagement where we're going to be like a sniper damage from a far away but when they get near we just switch to we switch to smite and hold the hold the door easy 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 smites from a far away oh it's not a smite technically is it Demon host is unyielding. Okay, yeah, because of, uh, I thought of because of the big bar, that, because it's like a mini boss, isn't it? If we compare this video and the last video, I was holding smite the whole time. I was keeping everything stunned as well. Don't take me wrong, it's still good. But now we're more proactive with, uh, with the damage. The map is unfortunately not stunned. We are taking small... Uh, prefer teammates over me. We are not... We are still taking a little bit uh, of damage, but again... Minuscule damage. Tell me in, in the comment sections which type of a Psyker you would welcome more in your group. Would you appreciate a Psyker that can stun almost any type of enemy and keep them stunned for the whole time of the engagement? Or would you appreciate a Psyker that can pull his own weight? And uh, you don't need to take care of his quote-unquote mess. 
Right. This is it. Like this this is the whole thing. This will be challenging. Oh okay, that's just my problem. Can I find the same? All right, it's mine only. That's unfortunate. It's very unfortunate. But everything's stunned, so even though it's very unfortunate, he's still safe. As you can see, even... I was asked in the latest video, I use full charge, like I, I use smite to 100% and the normal mobs are still alive here with warp charges that are still alive never mind i wanted to say they die but they don't i still have six warp charges as well well you learn something new every day to be honest and there you go the cc of smite is you can't compare it with anything else change my mind change my mind and comment everyone the smite is the best CC tool, at least of a psyker. I haven't played other, I haven't played other classes that much to be this confident. But uh, the smite can lock down the whole horde, several specials and elites. The only thing that it's missing is to be able to stun lock, or even not not, not a stun lock, but stagger, stagger a boss or a mini boss. That'd be that'd be hella cool. Uh, one on the left. Oh, he's coming for me. Is he? Oh, he's over there. He is coming for me. Not anymore. So, uh, he's coming for me as well. Wait! Okay, Fat Shark, you need to, you need to do a work with this. You know what? This is, this is, this is my life now. This is me. Um, I was I was delivered here by the game, so the game wants me to be here, and I'm, I'm this is my place now. I am I have been chosen. It's not it's not my fault. This 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 is not my fault. Okay, I don't want I don't want to hear any sass. Jokes are allowed, but that's it. Die have been delivered onto this place. All right, I think we oh, are usefulness. I have only one warp charge, which unfortunately is not optimal, but I'm not using smite for damage as of now. I'm using it for CC. I should have dwelt. Oh, this is unfortunate. Oh, I'm being bullied. Okay. No need to use it anymore. Alright, we need to regain our poised sure stands. Just get our shit together, alright everyone? Let's go, let's do it. Oh 
I know what he wanted to do, but I misclicked and <laughs> fell down. <laughs> Oh, do we have it? Oh, we have it already. Ooh! Was that a mauler? Oh, I got absolutely deleted. I got absolutely bullied by the game. Well, let's wait. Can I jump over this? Uh, oh, I can. All right, let's support with CC. Uh, this is going to hurt, isn't it? Uh, a little bit, just a wee bit. Ogryn trying to do Ogryn things. Oh, I just got three warp charges in like six seconds. That's beautiful. Okay, stay together. Nice, he got staggered by the charge and... No, 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 you don't, no, you don't. Oh, I hit the unit camp, that's why he wasn't staggered before. GPU's crying, everything's fine, everything's under control. Regain our, our moisture. Right, that's the thing we need to do. Regain the moisture. And that's the... Oh, we need to press the button. Now hostiles in the elevator! Hostiles on board! Oh my god. Almost didn't leave. Woo! Alright. I think some of you may be asking, Ama, why weren't you using the Shriek? You have a build for it. Again, as in the last video, the Shriek is there only and only as a, as a last ace in your sleeve. Use it when you need to. I almost used it twice during the mission. Maybe should have to, to, to showcase how it works. But uh, it was still un semi under control. Use it as a last resort defense when you need to. That's why it's in the talent. That's why we have it there instead of like a shield or something else. 